This present was a solar-powered radio for Johnny Adams. While living with the Adams family, I heard them mention something about Fourth of July fireworks. So, I pulled the old purse trick again. This left me wondering how much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are given off by a typical fireworks display. But I'm sure it's almost nothing compared to the huge amounts produced by coal-burning factories and power plants. In spite of this, I still have hope, because if our scientists can send men to the moon, then they can certainly find ways to make factories and power plants more Earth-friendly. Some folks might call me an overly optimistic airhead. Get it? Airhead? And I'm an air pillow? Well, <clears throat> anyway. My reply is, if we lose hope, we won't try. And if we don't try, then things will become hopeless. And that's not just a lot of hot air. Now, on with the story. A few months later, Mr. Adams reused me to cushion several high-pitched noisemakers. And no, I was not one of the noisemakers. He airmailed them to Roger Brown in South Carolina for his experimental bird-safe, wind-powered electricity generator. He hopes that a combination of a blade cover and these noisemakers will prevent birds from flying into the blades. Well, whether this experiment succeeds or fails... I think we all should give Mr. Brown credit for trying. Soon after I arrived, the Browns threw a Halloween party. At it, one of their grandchildren thought I was a doll baby. But they would not let her touch me until they carefully explained how plastic bags and air pillows can cause suffocation and that babies and little children are too young to understand the danger. Fortunately, she was old enough to understand, so they agreed to let her play with me but only when a responsible adult is watching. <laughs> Soon, Thanksgiving rolled around, and thanks to their granddaughter, I enjoyed Thanksgiving dinner too. The Browns were thankful for many things. I was thankful for having been sent to such a nice family. By the way, Mr. Brown has an electric car. Its powerful, durable, and long-lasting battery can be charged with its removable, adjustable solar panels or with an electrical outlet. Isn't it awesome? It seems to me that all of the families who reused me obviously care about our planet. Otherwise, they would have just tossed me in the trash. Mr. and Mrs. Brown are strong advocates of many Earth-friendly practices because they care about the environment and because they want to do all they can to help stop global warming. According to Mrs. Brown, many changes are needed on many levels to help stop global warming, but there is one very simple practice described in Dr. Noodle's book that can help many things. That was my inspiration for this song. Help solve it all. Help solve it all. Help solve it all. The planet is warming and people are sick. There are some solutions. Please heed them real quick. Green light bulbs and solar are great so install. But few do the one thing that helps solve it all. Help solve it all. This country is loaded with people so ill they suffer from ailments not cured with a pill. It's sad folks don't know that their foods are the keys to heart attacks, weight gain, and diabetes. Help solve it all. In tropical forests, there 
is much to spare, cause trees are cut down for large livestock farms there. To make matters graver, these critters folks eat, produce greenhouse gases that cause global heat. Eat produce that's grown in organic topsoil, and lots of whole starches, no dairy, no oil, and eat less meat or use a vegan type plan to help heal this world and each woman and man. The planet is warming and people are sick. There are some solutions, please heed them real quick. Green light bulbs and solar are great so install, but changing our food can help solve it all. But changing our food can help solve it all. But changing our food can help solve it all. But changing our food can help solve it all.